everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the 25 Days of Linux. I don't really have an intro. Today we're taking a look at something uh, cool that I kind of saw on Unix porn the other day. It's a, uh, a, a plugin that's basically built to change the theme for your terminal, but aims to make it incredibly easy. One of those things is just like, there's no way I'm going to believe it until I try it out. So <laughs> that, that's what we're doing here. Like I said, it, it doesn't look very hard to set up at all. That's the whole reason this video exists. Uh, so let's do it. We'll just uh, copy this right here. Uh, so one curl command to install is just going to put it in bin. And then in theory, we should be able to run it. So let's grab a terminal here. We'll go ahead and paste in that there curl command. And uh, apparently it's done. So I'm in Alacrity here. Uh, I've got a couple of different terminals installed. We can test this on. But I guess what we can go ahead and do is we'll just go ahead and run theme.sh and uh, see what happens. So uh, it's telling us we need to, is there a man page? I don't think there's a man page, but we could maybe run theme.sh-help and see what options we have. Uh, we can use dash I or dash I2 to get like an interactive menu. It looks like dash I2 would be for if your terminal supports true color, which I'm pretty sure Alacrity does. Dash R to set a random one. Uh, I don't know. Let's just see here. Let's um, let's go ahead and just do theme dot shell dash I2. Oh, no, we need FZF installed. I'm surprised I don't have that installed. I thought I did. So pseudo pacman s FZF. Just out of curiosity, there is a possibility it's in the AUR or something that is possible. Oh shit, it actually, or no, they both look like they're out of date. Maybe not. Okay. Well, they're both saying they're out of date, but I don't know. It looks like it is in the AUR, so maybe that would be the better way to install it if you're on Arch, but you know, you just saw once it didn't have the dependency it needed, it flagged me and I installed it. It took two seconds, but theme.shell dash I, and okay, look at this. Uh, we can't use Vim keys apparently, but we can search through them if we wanted to. Uh, so if I just look for Grovebox, well, actually that's not gonna work very well because I already have Grovebox set. Let's find something different, maybe with something else, Nord. People like that a lot. So we have uh, a Nord theme here, a Nord light theme, and a Nord alternate theme. Uh, let's just go ahead and hit it. For the purposes of this video, maybe I can go ahead and just kill PyCom so we can see the theme a bit easier. And you can see it did change my terminal theme. Here's what I'm curious about. I don't actually know how it's working. I want to take a look at my Alacrity config. This still definitely is my config. If I were to open up, let's say another Alacrity window, I see, okay. So it's sort of just changing it on the fly. That's interesting. Okay, before we get any further, how about we do this? Let me open up a whole bunch of terminals. So I have Alacrity here. And then let's go ahead and to the left, let's go ahead and open up Kitty down and we'll open up urxvt and then let's go down one more time and let's open up what do i have open here alacrity kitty urxvt let's open up xterm four terminals they all look pretty similar they all have similar configs and just for the purposes of this let's do theme dot shell we could do the dash i thing again to select the theme and we'll say do the nord theme or whatever but it also looks like you could just change it from the command line so if i wanted to i could do theme dot shell nord Okay, try that again. Do theme.shell and let's try pop. Okay, so that one changed. Or you know what, hey, let me, we'll just set it to Nord again. Okay, so URXVT looks a little funky, but I assume that's something you could actually go into the config and change. Theme.shell Nord, theme.shell Nord. So here's what's curious. It, it looks like what was really trying to do is sort of change the way that you set a theme in a terminal. Check this out. Here's what we'll do. Close all these terminals. And the thing is, if I open them all back up again, I open up Alacrity, oh, theme's gone. I open up Kitty, theme's gone. Open up URXVT, theme's gone. But what it's recommending, if you take a look over here, is it's actually literally telling you how to change your ZSharc. So let's do that. I'm going to copy over this right here and I'm just gonna put it into my ZSharc. So I'll go into my config. Let me scale that back up some more. Sorry, I forgot I'm recording a video sometimes. I got excited. So go into config, ZSharc. And let's say just sort of maybe towards the top, we'll create a comment and we'll say these are gonna be theme.shell config. Uh, paste all this in and it looks like what it's doing is it's giving us aliases th to get into theme.shell and pick a theme we can use thl to pick only light themes thd to pick only dark themes and then it looks like what it's doing is this bit right here is basically just saying every time we load zish which is every time we open a terminal just recover whatever the last theme was 
let's give it a shot, right? So we'll do TH, or uh, let's close that, open up a new terminal here, Alacrity. And you can see immediately, now all of a sudden, our theme is Nord. Huh, so let me let me turn PyCon back on for a second, just so you can see my uh, beautiful wallpaper down there. Let's hit TH again, and it's giving us the option to pick themes. We can sort of fly through here, see what looks cool. Do the blazer theme, I don't know, what's a good one? How about embers? Okay, so there's a new theme. And now let me open up Kitty, and it's pick the theme. So now let's do TH again, pick a different theme. Okay, and then we open up URXVT, interesting. I would have to like close Alacrity once I change the theme to make it happen, but uh, effectively we're picking a terminal color scheme without actually having to go into a config and pick the terminal color scheme, which to be completely honest, if you've ever configured a terminal is literally the most annoying part if you're not just copying and pasting from a website, which I think is what most people do anyways, but set it to one dark now. Wow, look at that, I'll kill Pycom again. But certainly this is one of the coolest apps I've come across in a really, really freaking long time. Maybe I'll just uh, set my theme here back to, I think we can do THD and it'll only find dark themes for us, but so let's find Grovebox, find the one with the darkest background. And there all of a sudden, boom, we got a nice terminal. Look at that, man. That's so freaking cool. I can't get over how cool that is. Uh, okay, I don't know how much there is left to say about it. This was incredibly easy to use, and this is certainly one of the coolest things I've come across in quite a while. What's this guy's name? Limnos? Limnons? Uh, you've made something incredible. Thank you for the free content. Anybody watching this, I would I would highly recommend you check this out. I'm not 100% sure that this is something that would be super useful to me, just because I've already done a lot of configs for a lot of different terminals, but like I said, this is one of the coolest things I've seen in a really long time on Linux. Game changing, you might even say. I don't know. That's going to be it for this video, everybody. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.